Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks again for joining me. I'm going to be going over a really quick video on five tips uh, that will help level up your gameplay. Now, the new update for the balance patch and Dan is going to be coming out sometime in February. So if you want to get back warmed up in the game and refreshed, uh, these tips are for everybody. No matter what experience you are, if you're a novice or to an expert, there's going to be at least one tip that you're going to get out of this that may help you out. So these tips right here are going to help you become an online warrior. And with that title, you get bragging rights. But also with that title, nobody really cares. Before this video starts, I'm going to need you guys to smack that like button like a make-a-wish kid is playing college football. It's in sports where you just... Oh! Oh my God! All right, let's get this started. Many characters in the game, their normals have certain uh, functions and purposes you're supposed to use them for. So the first basic tip that I'm gonna cover is standing medium kick. Uh, many people should know this, but if you don't, that's all right as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my uh, computer to do a low attack. All right, so real basic, a lot of characters in this game, they do hit confirms off their crouching uh, medium kick. So you're gonna you're gonna run into that opponent that just constantly using crouching uh, crouching medium kick. The best way for you to deal with crouching medium kicks is standing medium kicks. Be sure to incorporate this in your tool set to deal with low profile moves. If I had to compare these two moves against each other, essentially standing medium kick against crouching medium kick is the equivalent of Sonic Fox against Perfect Legend. The next thing I want to talk about is whiff punishing. Many of you already know that your medium attacks are normally pretty good. If your opponent blocks your medium attack, they normally range from 2 to 3 frames plus on block. But another good aspect for medium attacks are uh, whiff punishing. So I have Fout doing a standing hard punch. And as you can see, in the ending frames of her attack, you're able to whiff punish her with a medium of punch. So in many characters in the game, uh, medium punches normally have good active frames and good priority so they are just a prime good move to use when it comes to whiff punishing so you can actually whiff punish with many moves in this game uh, it's not just any medium punch but I normally recommend medium punches just because like I said they have good frames uh, good active frames and good priority so just a basic tip all right let's go and go to the next tip this tip pro players use and one pro player that uses it really often is Daigo himself. So if you find your opponent in the corner, you want to keep them there. Keeping your opponent in the in the corner is really important in this game when it comes to positioning. In many cases, your opponent will try everything they can to get out of the corner. And one of the simplest way is just for them to try to jump over you with a cross up. So this is a great method to keeping your corner positioning, but also putting pressure onto your opponent. This right here is how you keep your corner positioning. Normally just doing like a light punch and then just dash under, you'll be able to keep your corner pressure. That way your opponent can't escape. So this tip does kind of vary. Many of the slower characters won't be able to do this. Like uh, Zangief probably won't be able to do this and uh, Abigail. But characters like uh, Alex, even though he's a slow character, a slow grapple character, he can do this as well. So yeah, great tip for keeping your opponent in the corner. All right, let's keep these tips going. So the next one is going to be how to deal with cross-ups. This is for characters that actually have a deep uh, a dragon punch like Ken. In many cases where your opponent's trying to cross you up, you can continue to do the dragon motion and press the punch late, and it'll do the dragon punch on the other side. All right, and you can look at my inputs as well for this. I uh, input it forward, and I press the punch button late, and then it just switches to the other side. So this is a great way to make sure that your, you know, even if your opponent try crossing you up, you can always just do an anti-air. So I, I call this strategy WAP, which stands for Whiffing Anti-Air Punish. All right, so let's go ahead and get in this last tip. 
If you're anything like me, your reaction time is not the best. Some would even say non-existent. So what you can always do to react to things better, especially the anti-airs as well, is just do a V-trigger. The V-trigger would uh, freeze the screen, allowing you the chance to figure out what you're gonna do, plan it, and then also think about what song this is, and then vibe with it a little bit, and then still give you enough time to execute your anti-air. And even pro players do this all the time. Just sometimes you just need a little bit of extra time to gather your thoughts and figure out how to to deal with something. And this even works with charge characters. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a charge character. All right. So even doing a V trigger to, to freeze the screen even works with charge characters. It gives you enough time to get enough charge. Just do a flash kick with Gal if you wanted to. All right, bonus tip, just for you viewers out there that's not satisfied with five tips, pause. This is an easy, basic strategy that everyone's been using since the game first came out, but it's super effective no matter which, you know, top players, um, immediate players, novice players, the strategy will always be really good is the shimmy. So make sure you incorporate that in your gameplay. And if just if you need a visual aspect of the shimmy, is I'll have some clips of it is when you walk forward like you're going to grab your opponent and then you walk out of the grab range normally your opponent will actually grab because they think you're going to grab and then when you back out of it you can punish with something else so again basic strategy but super effective all right if you made it this far that's great hopefully you didn't regret watching the video as much as you did buying cyberpunk but for real though, if you did enjoy the video, that's great. Um, just make sure you like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy more videos like this, I'll keep doing it. So, you know, thanks again for watching and take care.